Welcome to another great Photoshop tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at how to remove backgrounds from pictures, uh, especially if, like in this picture, you want to just be left with the person in the front and you maybe want to paste that person onto a different background. So, first thing I'm going to do is select the, the quick uh, edit tool, and that's down here, or the quick mask mode. You can get there by selecting Q. Uh, now, what that allows us to do is, it's kind of like the selection tool, where or the magic wand tool, where you draw around uh, an area, but we can use this to, to make it a lot more accurate. So, first of all, I'm going to select the, the brush tool, and just select a, a thick brush, and that should be okay. And let's see, we're going to just zoom in on uh, the area of our of our body, uh, and just really start to sort of draw around. Uh, as you can see, just draw around sort of where our where our body is. It's a lot simpler to use than uh, the Magic One tool. You get a lot, you get a much better result uh, with this. And as you can see as well, if if you come across areas that uh, no, this this fits perfect. But uh, you know, if you if you have a look at some of the other areas, like for example, uh, our hair. You know, if you're if you're wanting this strand of hair, and you can come in and use the the pencil tool. Uh, you know, and really, really get some accurate. That's a bit too small. Let's go back to the brush tool and just bring that down. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's that's a five. So that should be okay. So we can really sort of come up on these hair strands uh, and get really accurate with these. Uh, there we go. So I'm just going to work my way around this picture, and I'll just uh, see you just in a moment. Yeah, I just wanted to show you as well uh, your other options. You know, you can come down and use the the straight line uh, tool, for example. If you've got a if you've got an edge that that looks quite straight, uh, you know, you can use the the line tool for for that. So that can save you a bit of time as well. There we go, we'll just go over that. So there we go, I've been round all the edges and now I can just pick up a, uh, a brush tool again and just make it a bigger size and just quickly fill in sort of all the bits in the in the middle. So there we go, we've uh, finished colouring everything in and as you can see you know, we've been able to uh, go over some of the go over some of the, the finer points like our hair, uh, especially here on the, the ear ring area as well. Uh, and yeah, let's now uh, let's now see what happens next. Okay, so after you've finished colouring in your outline and everything, and everything's uh, tidied up, then you can click the quick mask uh, again, and that should, as you can see, give us a, a selection sort of round the uh, the edges. And as you can see, it's very fine round round here and round the hair. That looks perfect. Uh, so yeah, then you can uh, just do Control X. Uh, and take out all the 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 background, uh, and that looks perfect. So, oh, here's a couple of bits I've noticed here that aren't quite aren't quite coloured in. Uh, so you just have to make make sure. I'm just gonna 
go back there and as you can see there's a, a little point that's highlighted there I noticed another bit uh, over here so you, yeah you've just got to be, be careful just take your time I've done this one quite quick uh, so what I'm going to do now is just paste the paste a different background on so uh, I'm going to come in and take this background here and I'm just going to paste that on and move the layer up and there we go, Halle Berry in a torture chamber. <laughs>